Good Monday morning. I am MPJ and you are watching Fun Fun Function. Today we are continuing our series on object creation in JavaScript. It might be difficult for you to follow this episode if you have not watched the previous episodes in the series. Uh, you can find a playlist of all of them uh, in the episode description. This episode is about the mysterious underscore underscore proto underscore underscore uh, property that uh, yeah, resides on objects uh, and how that compares to the uh, uh, the just the property that is just called prototype. First of all, what is proto? I'm gonna just say proto instead of underscore underscore proto underscore underscore from here on. What is Proto? I have just opened up Chrome, the browser from Google. Uh, we will begin by opening up the developer tools. Clicky clicky. Uh, and then I'm going to... Sorry, I'm gonna click over here and make it... Undock it to make it a separate window. Uh, so now it's a separate window and it's covering entire screen I will increase the size of it a little bit to give us more so that you can see even if you're viewing on mobile and I'm opening up the console I'm going to begin by creating some object uh, that we are going to call oh my god cat and it has a property called type no 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 Breed, uh, and that is called sh Shiatsu. No, that's not a cat. That's a dog or something. Uh, it, it's uh... oh my god! Examples are so hard. Um, cat, pet finder, cat wings, American bobtail, wire hair, Balinese, Bombay, Munchkin. Oh my god! Oh my god, this is amazing. Hang on. Cat, munchkin cat. Oh, Jesus Christ. I want this cat. Alright, either way. Either, either way. Either way. Either way. Uh, munchkin. Uh, there. We now have a cat object. In our previous episodes, we've learned about uh, prototypes. So we can. Uh, let me just remind you of how that works. Let's say that we. Uh, create uh, m my cat uh, and it has a name uh, name uh, and we call that f uh, fluffy kins and uh, yes and um, now we will make we do object oh sorry object mm, object dot set prototype of the my cat to a uh, cat hop uh, and if we now do my cat dot uh, there is of course a dot name but since my cat has a prototype it will also have a breed munchkin in the comment section of the uh, prototype episode, uh, Promise Tochi and Delendrion uh, debated a bit uh, about analogies on uh, uh, of, of prototypes, and they came up with a pretty good one. You are at school, and you have uh, a paper that is due, or a test or something, and you need a pen, but you don't have a pen. You have a friend who might have a pen, so you ask your friend, do you have a pen? The friend checks on his desk to see, do I have a pen? Checks, well, well there's no pen. But instead of uh, just being a bad friend and saying, oh, I don't have a pen uh, to you, they check with their friend. Because they also have a friend. If they have a pen. And this friend does have a pen. And the pen will be passed all the way back to you so that you can complete your assignment. Prototypes is uh, not like class-based inheritance, uh, where there's instances of stuff and things. 
Instead, it's a much simpler model. It's just objects uh, that delegate to other objects. But what does this relationship come from? How do you know that this person is your friend and how does this person know that this person is their friend? Here, when I call my cat breed, it will uh, look up the breed property on the cat. But how does it know that? Well, it's, it's, it is because I did this set prototype of my cat to cat, but what is it exactly that is happening here? What kind of lookup is it doing? Is it just some magic behind the scenes or is there something more simple? Well, it turns out that there is a property on uh, my cat now called double 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 dot proto. This object here, that's the same one as this up here. And I also want to repeat here for the billionth time, just so that you don't forget it, this is actually uh, a reference to the same object. It's not an instance, so that there's no classes and instantiation of objects in prototypal inheritance. Uh, let me show you, let, let me actually just modify the cat to drive this home. I'm going to say cat dot uh, tail length. Length, length, uh, and it's gonna be 15. Bam! And now I'm going to call my cat Proto again. And you see that even though I didn't change the my cat, I just changed the original uh, uh, cat here. The the Proto will still uh, uh, will still update because it, it's it's not even updating. It's it's a reference to the same object. Uh, let me show you uh, even more. Like now, I say like my cat, and I go uh, tail length, and you see that it's fifteen. So when we are dealing with prototypes, we have to remember that all we're doing is delegation. It's objects delegating to other objects. If you're very used to class-based inheritance, this is a bit. Uh, tricky to get used to because you are used to there being uh, a cat class that you make Fluffykin's instances of uh, and that is an extra step that you don't have in prototypal inheritance. In fact it might even be a bit misleading that uh, we as an industry uh, are calling it prototypal inheritance because uh, it, it kind of isn't an inheritance at all, it, it's just prototypal delegation. So some of you might be thinking, okay, uh, so that's what Proto does, but I've seen this, uh, this property called Prototype, uh, and I, how does that relate to that one? In the previous episode, we discussed the new keyword. Just to recap, it works like this. Uh, I do let, uh, no, 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 I do function dog, uh, and it has, um, I think that's enough. Uh, and I do dog dot prototype, uh, and I can do something like uh, bark. Uh, no, I'm gonna do breed uh, dog, and then I can do new dog, and I can do dog. No, I need to assign that to something. Uh, I need to call it let uh, my doggy, and I'm gonna call that call my doggy dot uh, breed, and that will be bulldog. So if you remember from the last episode, what new is going to do is uh, it's going to create a new plain object uh, that is just a simple object, and then it's going to uh, go uh, and look at the function dog and it's going to take the object that is uh, on its prototype property and it's going to set that object as the prototype of the new uh, simple object that it has just created and it's then going to feed it into uh, the dog constructor uh, uh, as the this keyword and it's then going to return 
whatever the dog object uh, returns. Or if it doesn't return anything, it's going to uh, return uh, the simple object. And it turns out that this scenario, uh, the, using the new keyword to create object, that is all that this uh, uh, property uh, prototype is used for. So it turns out that this, the prototype property, this only exists on, on functions as a, uh, as a property, and it's automatically created on functions. And it's only created on functions in order, uh, like just in case you want to use those functions as constructors with new. Let me prove this to you. Uh, if I look at my doggy, uh, doggy, you remember that this does have a, a proto, it, it, the, the, the prototype of my doggy is the, the bulldog object, or the dog object. Uh, but if I look at my doggy.prototype, that's undefined. There is no prototype property on uh, my doggy. There is a prototype on dog. Whoops, I typed wrong. Uh, which is this object that has the, the breed uh, property, because we set it up here. And you can see if we create uh, a new function, let's just say function uh, 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 giraffe. And I do giraffe dot uh, prototype. There is actually an object there. But if I just create a plain object, let's say, let, um, I'm running out of animals, uh, koala. Uh, and I create a, just a plain object, bonk, uh, and I check uh, koala.prototype, it's undefined, there is no prototype. So the koala doesn't have a prototype property, but it does have a proto. Bonk. That's an object. Let's look at that. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is the uh, global uh, object prototype. The, uh, the object that all objects in JavaScript will delegate to. So if I say koala dot uh, proto, that is going to be equal to the object dot prototype. Bonk. Yeah, th those are the same. So if I uh, if I do object dot prototype. This is naughty, by the way. You shouldn't do this. Uh, and I go uh, waffle, uh, and I say no. Uh, oh, sorry. I needed. Uh, it was mixing uh, quotes there. And I go koala dot waffle. We'll see that it is. I actually think that this means that object is, the global object is actually not an object, it is a function. Yes, exactly. And because it has to be a function, or otherwise, you wouldn't be able to do new uh, object. If this confuses you, that is entirely okay, because new and this in JavaScript is definitely one of the like, most confusing things ever devised. It is, like, let's just say it, it's very badly designed. And in all fairness, JavaScript is almost not designed, it's more like it's something that has grown over the years. But, yeah, it, it's, it, it's very confusing, and you're okay if you feel confused. Uh, but just, you know, be calm, lean into it, and you will get it eventually. If I was allowed to change one thing of uh, the whole structure of how new is designed in JavaScript, I would not call um, this the, the prototype. Instead, I would probably have called it something like uh, prototype to install or something like that because that is more descriptive of what it does. So it, it would be 
uh, if you create, say, a new, uh, let's, okay, I'm gonna make another animal. Um, crocodile. So JavaScript will automatically create this handy prototype object for you. But what it means is this is not the, the prototype prototype. This is, this is a prototype that is going to be used as the prototype if you are calling new. So it should be prototype to install or I don't know, prototype base. No, that's probably not clear. Uh, prototype to use, prototype to use in new, maybe. I don't know really, but something that is a bit clearer. So anyway, to recap, proto is the property that on an object that actually points out the prototype that has been set for that object. Prototype is the property on a function, and, and it's only functions that has this property, that is set as the property if you're using the new keyword. And that is all this is used for. If something about this video is unclear, please post a comment down below. If everything was clear, then you are doing well. You should uh, look in the comments and help somebody else out so that they also can do well. If you found this episode worthwhile, please send it to a colleague. If you are that colleague, you have just watched an episode of Fun Fun Function. This is a weekly programming show uh, and I release new episodes every Monday morning at 0800 GMT. Do not miss it, subscribe. I'm also MPJ Me on, on, on Twitter. Until next Monday morning, stay curious.